Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 Trailer Explained The trailer for Volume 2 of Season 4 of Stranger Things just dropped, and it gave us an insight into what's soon to come. With clips we've not seen before and our first glimpse into the season finale, it looks exciting, eventful, emotional, and epic to say the least. So let's get into it and break down this trailer frame by frame and shot by shot. Here is Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 Trailer Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers from Season 4 Volume 1. The trailer opened up with the dialogue by Brenna, I know you're frightened, terribly frightened, by what you've seen. But I'm not going to lie to you, your friends are not prepared for this fight. Hawkins will fall. This is likely going to occur after Eleven has woken up from being inside of Project Nina, following on from the Season 4 Volume 1 finale, where she learned about the identity of Number One, how he's Henry Creel, and how he's an evil being and caused the Hawkins facility massacre, whilst then proceeding to send him to the Upside Down. The dialogue was being spoken over several clips. The first one was one that we've seen before, and it was the one of Brenner walking into the massacre scene and seeing the crack in the wall where the gateway was, and we then had Max looking over the vast landscape that leads to the Creel house, once Vecna is inside of your mind. After this, we then got a shot that we've not seen before, and it was of Dustin, Erica, Eddie, Robin, Lucas, Max, Steve, and Nancy, riding in an RV outside of the Upside Down. We know based on later clips that they're driving towards the Creel house in the real world. We had a close-up of Steve looking over at Nancy, likely alluding to the romantic relationship that they have, but also with the close-up of Nancy, you could sense that she's seen a lot. This could be connected to her seeing the true identity of Vecna when he was inside of her mind. But this is a nod to the fact that we now know that she makes it out alive following on from the final episode in Volume 1. And we also know that the reason for them driving to the Creel house is based off of the discovery of the identity of Vecna. We then heard the words, My friends need me, being uttered, as we had a shot of Eleven walking off outside of Project Nina, and Brenna looking on as he stated that she's not ready. This is something I think that's going to be early on in the first episode of Volume 2, as we'll then see Eleven head back to Hawkins with the intentions of reuniting with the group, and then all of the information will likely be shared. Nancy knowing that Vecna is Henry Creel, and Eleven knowing that Henry Creel is number one even though I feel Nancy will already know that. Following this, we were then given a shot of Nancy inside the Hawkins facility massacre scene, with Vecna slowly walking towards her down the corridor. I think this is still part of the storytelling that Vecna was doing in the latter part of Volume 1. I think he'll be continuing to show Nancy just what he is capable of. She knows about Henry Creel and the backstory there, but he may well be showing her that he was once connected to Eleven and is aware of her. Given that Nancy is in the same clothes as those flashback scenes too, I think that could well be the case. A real revelation that happened was that Will was saying to Mike he's not going to stop, not until he's taken everyone. I'm unsure how Will would know this information about Vecna, but it's likely going to be something from where he was stuck inside the Upside Down way back in Season 1. Will was quiet for a lot of Volume 1, and this is likely the reason why. The show knows that he has an important role to play in the final battle, Speaking of Will, we also had an emotional shot of him embracing Jonathan. There have been many theories about him coming out in Volume 2, so this could well be a moment that we've all been speculating about. Or it could simply be them sharing an emotional moment as they know that they may not make it out of this all okay. Following this, we then saw Max switch on her audio player inside of the attic of the Creel house, highlighting that she still isn't rid of the fact Vecna could claim her at any moment. We then saw a clip of Eddie going into his room in his trailer inside of the Upside Down where he picked up his guitar and then proceeded to play it on the roof of the trailer. I think this is done with the intention of getting Nancy back at the start of the episode due to the fact that there wasn't a cassette player to put on her. We know that Robin knows what Nancy's favorite song is due to her stumbling across it when they were inside of her house inside of the Upside Down. So I believe Eddie will proceed to play it and that will cause her to essentially wake up and then we'll then go on to see everything else that I've just mentioned. After this shot, we then saw a familiar clip that we saw in the previous trailer, and that was of Joyce, Murray, and Hopper looking into the mist that's being contained in the Russian facility. There are many theories about this potentially being the Flayer, or the core of the Flayer, due to the fact that it was absent for the majority of Season 4 Volume 1, and that could well be it. We witnessed just how shocked they all looked as they casted their eyes upon it, so I wouldn't necessarily rule it out. 
Robin proceeded to voice over that she had a terrible feeling that it wouldn't work out this time. This was in a discussion with Steve. As we then saw all three of them inside of the Upside Down likely heading towards the Krill House, as that's where it appears all of the action is going to be taking place in the season finale. And we then also saw in a later shot, Steve walk into the Krill House inside of the Upside Down where it was covered in the vines. It looked like we had Max, Lucas and Erica safeguarding the Krill House in reality, so they could well be staying put in reality whilst the rest of the group go inside the Upside Down. We had a quick succession of scenes from Hopper trying to escape the Russian prison, and it looked as though there were going to be demodogs after them, along with demogorgons and guards too, so I imagine that will be extremely difficult for them to get out of, but I'm intrigued to see how they do it. We heard the voiceover, it's over, now I just want you to watch. This could be aimed towards Eleven. In the previous trailer, we know that this voice was talking to Eleven, as if she was the recipient, so maybe Vecna or the Flayer has the upper hand at this point and is playing with her. Following this, we saw Lucas fighting with the bully Jason in the Krill House attic. We know that Lucas took the side of his friends in the previous volume, so I imagine Jason has a bone to pick with him, due to the fact that he's after the Hellfire Club, which he believes is a cult responsible for killing Chrissy. And with Lucas protecting them and being a member, it looks as though they're going to have it out. We then saw Nancy inside of the Krill House attic in the Upside Down, firing at something with Steve in the background. We know that Vecna resides there, so it could well be towards Vecna. There's a clip later on of him walking down the stairs in the Krill House, so the firing could be taking place shortly afterwards. Robin appeared to be tied up to the vines in a later shot and the group were trying to break her free. Maybe she touched one and it triggered a response. We know everything is connected in the Upside Down, so maybe that's what happened there. Murray appeared to be using a flamethrower and looked as though he was inside the Upside Down, judging by the specks of dust that were floating around him. So maybe Joyce, Hopper, and Murray went inside a gateway in Russia. We know that Demogorgon's weakness is fire, so he could well be firing towards one of those or even Vecna. Or it could just be snow, as we've seen a similar environment in scenes in Volume 1 but I wanted to keep things excited, and I'm not ruling that off the cards. After this, we had a shot of Eleven in the outfit she was wearing whilst at Project Nina, but with the DJ stand from the Snowball of 84 from an earlier season. I'm unsure of what the relevance or importance of the Snowball is in all of this, but I'm sure we'll get it answered in the two final episodes. We then had a quick succession of shots in the climax of the trailer, consisting of the one of Max up close with Vecna almost being claimed, and Eleven utilizing her powers inside Project Nina. We also saw one of the final shots of Eleven in the same blue shirt causing the explosion, and there being guards on the floor. So I think it's safe to say that she's definitely going to have her powers back. We had one of Dustin screaming, which to me could be aimed towards Steve. He views Steve as a brother, and Steve was bitten by the Demobats. So whilst not directly seeing any harm, we saw him coughing at the end of Volume 1. So maybe he's been infected and it's got progressively worse. We had one of a demagogue on top of Hopper, and then closing off with Eleven inside of the Krill house, looking as though she was utilizing her powers. I think it's going to be here where we're going to see Vecna inside of her mind. The red hue is as strong as it usually is when he's inside somebody's mind, and this is where I feel we'll see the final battle between the pair commence. This was an incredible trailer that made me look forward to July the 1st even more. What did you think of this trailer? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.